Hey guys, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to play Game Boy and Game Boy Color games on your classic system. So after you have hacked your classic system, go to the modules tab and go to the Hackchi mod store. Then you're going to go to the RetroArc tab. You're just going to click the download module button right here and that'll download it to your Hackchi program. Then you're going to go to the RetroArc core section. You're going to look for the core named Gambat. So here we are with the Gambat core. Once again, we're going to hit the download module button and it's going to download it to our Hackchi system. We're going to close out of that. You're going to go back to your modules tab, then install extra modules. You're going to put a check next to the RetroArc Neo core we just downloaded and the Gambat core we just downloaded. Then you're going to hit the OK button and once this bar fills in all the way, it means that the core is installed to your system and ready to be used. So now we have to add the games to our Hackchi program. To do that, you go to the Add More Games button and you're going to navigate to the folder where your games are. I have two games here we're going to check, both a Game Boy and Game Boy Color game. We have Gargoyle's Quest for the Game Boy and Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX for Game Boy Color. I'm going to highlight both of those, hit the open button, and now they'll be added to the top of your list. Since we added the core first, it's going to recognize these games as being Game Boy games and it's going to fill in the command line for you so you don't have to do any of that. But we do still have to get box art. So highlight your game, click the Google button. We'll go with that one right there. Same thing with Legend of Zelda and we'll go with that first one as well. Okay, it looks like everything is set. I'm just going to hit the synchronize button and it's going to transfer those games from my PC to my classic system. And that's done. So let's go over to our NES Classic and take a look at these Game Boy games. All right, guys, here we are. Let's give Gargoyles Quest a quick look. You'll see that we have the Game Boy loading screen, which means everything's looking good so far. I think we can skip past it. Oh, there we go. We can skip past it just by hitting that start button. Um, if you haven't played this game, it's actually really good. It's the first in the Demon's Crest series. If you're familiar with Demon's Crest on the Super Nintendo, this was the first game. Um, there's three all together, not counting like the Ghosts and Goblins games. In that series, this was the first one. This is Gargoyle's Quest. The sequel was on the Nintendo or the Super Famicom. And then the third was on the Super Nintendo. So it's um, an RPG side-scroller. It's very, very uh, different. Different kind of game. Um, but it is a very neat game. And you can see here, sounds good and looks good. Seems like everything runs just fine using this core with Gargoyles Quest. Let's grab that bottle. I haven't played this game in a very long time. I beat it a while ago. And you can hover just like you can in the Super Nintendo version, but your hover is limited. Um, and you can't upgrade it. Your wing power or something, I think they call it in this game. Oh, there's a bad guy right there. Take him out. There we go. And that little ghost guy. Very cool. Alright, so hitting Start and Select will take you to the RetroArc menu. Um, instead of hitting the Reset button, you could do that. So let's get out of here. We'll go to Quit RetroArc, and that'll take us back to the NES Classic menu. And we'll start... Link's Awakening DX on the Game Boy Color, running from the exact same core. All right, here we go. Uh, you might notice that the graphics aren't very pixelated. That's because I activated bilinear filtering here in the RetroArc menu. You just go to the video option, go all the way to the bottom, bilinear filtering, and turn that on. If you like your game's a little bit smoother, I would recommend turning that on. I personally always pick bilinear filtering. But if you want them to look more pixelated, just leave that off. So let's get started real quick. Link's Awakening, um, I don't know, we'll just be called GM for G Money. That's fine. Once again, the game sounds good. Everything looks the way it's supposed to. And we woke up. I can't remember this girl's name. Meryl? Oh, Marin. Oh, she was right there. Good timing. I'm going to try and leave. Ah, uh, we can't. That Mario wannabe wants us to uh, hang out. And he wants to talk to us now. So, Marin and Taryn. Was that her dad? I don't know. Okay. Oh, and our shield already. Grabbing items. And that's set to our B button. I haven't played this game in a very long time. So, let's just take a listen real quick. Yeah, everything sounds really good. I don't see any distortion in the graphics or anything like that. It looks like everything's where it's supposed to be. Oh, that was... Did you see that... That move? 
move these urchins out of the way. I'm doing it the slowest way possible, moving two at once. That is not how you do that part. But we will move this one. Oh, excuse you, sir. And, um, oh, the owl. See, the owl is always the time where I want to get out of this game because he takes so long to get to the point. But anyway, there you go. Game Boy, Game Boy Color Games using the Gambat Core that you can get from the Hachi Mod Store. Make sure you guys keep coming back. I'm going to have a lot more fun things to show you that you can do on your classic system. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Hey guys, if you want to contact me outside of YouTube, feel free to use any of these social media platforms. Also, while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos that I put out. And if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel.